Yeah. Where are we at? We are in Austin, Texas. We are here to shoot Powerlift America Classic Open Nationals with me and Sue's friend. Um, NCT. NCT. Hello. We're here. Central. Yeah. Not like that. So it's this motherfucker wears, dude. <laughs> I give a free shit. I don't even fucking wear it. I got, <laughs> I got a left and clutch under. We came down to go to Pluckers, honestly. That's why I'm here for this moment. This can be a highlight of this trip. Pluckers changed my life and I'm forever loyal to them. I'll be here every time I'm in Texas. I'm gonna own a Pluckers. Give me some, give me some of my 10 year plan. Put it on my dream board. Yeah, this is a little origin story of Powerboat Media. So we were down in Daytona for USAPL Nationals, which I gotta say, a place is a shithole. Anyway, <laughs> I was literally on our way to the airport after that. We were like, we should start fucking just running media coverage for like meets like we're already we already did it for a few of the power build meets and like david's already capable of doing a lot of the you know he could do a little bit of everything and then once we ran a few of the bigger meets at the new gym just took off from there like we reached out to a few of the other meet directors basically everyone in pa uses us and then we locked in uspa nat nats was the first big one i think after after that daytona trip we came back and literally that's right when you opened yeah like a month or like, two later yeah a month yeah. or two later i only did photo video for that first meet i think the next meet that's when we did live streaming yeah figured it out quick the evolution has been insane well we're gonna do the back here so the angle so now it's starting to feel like a real trip oh, yeah. we're back at our home base ihop gonna go along with i Welcome to Powerlifting America's 2023 National Championships. Yeah. And up next, Kate Cohen. Jessica Espinal. A massive moment here on the platform, Powerlift America National, Oscar Carpio, 59 kilo class. Yeah. All right, guys, so we have an interesting meet recap for you today. First meet I've ever been kicked out of in 10 years of coaching in every powerlifting federation, just about every powerlifting federation. And it's not even for anything fun and exciting, like choke slamming one of these other dweeby coaches in there. So apparently, you know, it's an IPF meet. This is Powerlifting America Nationals. So it is under IPF criteria. And with me having clients, you know, that compete in every fed, I've coached recently at a USAPL meet. So literally, as soon as I walked into the warmer room within like five minutes, president of Powerlifting America came up to me and uh, informed me that I had a article 14 violation. We're talking about powerlifting here, guys. An article 14 violation. I literally thought he was trolling me. Um, but basically, yeah, so with me coaching in the USAPL meet, with this being an IPF level meet in Powerlifting America, I wasn't able to be in the warm-up room at all. So I literally couldn't coach. So literally flew down last night with these guys, Thursday night, to only coach Friday. I'm literally flying out in less than like 12 hours and uh, I couldn't even be in the warm-up room. So I just flew down here to spectate. Um, it wasn't Heather's best day. She's had a lot of things outside of lifting that have you know, had an impact on the prep. Um, you know, some health things. She didn't come in with an awesome prep, an awesome peak. It just is what it is. Sometimes health issues come up and the timing's not great. It is what it is. She still showed up, put on a hell of a show, literally maximized the day. Um, still had a great squat, still had a good bench, still had a big deadlift, of course. Um, ended up coming in second. Uh, another girl had a really, a really good day. And uh, I think I told her by six kilos something like that just barely edged her out and she honestly had like her best day ever breaking some uh american records so you know if heather comes in even 95 percent she wins um i've you know maybe i'm a little biased but i'm just being honest like she was probably 80 percent today if she comes in 95 percent she could have easily just pulled for the win yeah it is what it is sometimes things come up you don't always get um, to have a perfect peak, a perfect meet, 
and there's a lot of variables that go into it. So um, interesting trip so far, to say the least for myself. The Powerville Media Team crushed it today, day one of Powerlifting American Nationals. So, you know, it's not all negative, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, that's all I got. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, because um, I was in the back just unloading everything, and that's when they came around and they was talking. I was like overhearing it. First thing first, the guy thought I was recording the interaction. He like covered the camera. He's like, this is not recording, right? I'm like, no, no, you're good. I should have, but um, when, when I heard Article 14, I'm like, I, th I thought it was like something like popped up in your background check. Like you got like a hidden assault charge or some shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I, this is the best part. So it's not like something popped up in their database and it's like, Colin Whitney coached at this meet. The reason they found out is because one of the other coaches that was literally in the warm-up room literally snitched on me. Again, guys, we're talking about powerlifting here. One of the other coaches went out of his way, his or her way, it was definitely a his, we're gonna find out who it is, don't worry. But went out of his way to go up to the refs, the president of the federation, and let them know that I coached at a USAPL. They literally took time to go snitch on me about something so dumb, telling them that I was helping another client at another meet in a different federation. And that's how we got this Article 14 uh, violation. So fucking crazy, 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 crazy. This is like one of the things about powerlifting that I fucking hate. You have a lot of absolute scumbag pieces of shit that they're just petty, pathetic individuals. So it is what it is. It is what it is. We're gonna keep showing up. We're gonna keep fucking showing out, putting on incredible performances from our lifters, good coaching, incredible media. You know, when you're doing a lot, you sometimes attract attention from people who hate that you are doing a lot because they're probably not doing shit. So I think it's one of those situations. Again, it is what it is, like frustrating, but yeah, gotta roll with the punch sometimes. We'll be back. We'll be back. I know what you guys are thinking. Damn, Colin's a sick shirt. Yeah, I know. I invented it. And use code CT for 20% off. It shoots videos and photos. This man's been fucking grinding on bench. <laughs> He's just benching his fucking life away. It's speed work. That's the only powerlifting I do is bench. <laughs> you back. Good. Cannon. Tired of seeing these fucking slanging curls from you bitches. Guys, if you ever need a space, because I know everyone in Power Build, everyone has a. I'm not even gonna say that. That's, that's too far. If you need any type of photo shoot needs for your clothing brand or for yourself, 1096 Studios. That's my beautiful studio, hosted by the beautiful maid. So tap in, tap, tap in. in, tap in, book with me. We didn't get to vlog our little trip out, but. As you can tell, it was a, it was definitely. Hi guys, it's Marie. We're starting the vlog. We have a full day of content coming to you. Thank you so much. Guys, we're back at the Power Build St. Patty's Day Barbell Bash. Kylie's gonna do a Power Build app test video. Um, I don't know how to load my barbell, so when it comes to the Power Build app, it knows how to load my barbell and I'm not pulling the wrong weight and I'm not messing up CT's programming. Yes, good job, Kylie. Thank you. <laughs> We getting into everything today, okay? The meat's going on. We got some heavy hitters in today. We got the fucking the goon squad at the front desk today. We we getting we getting it today. The media team is here. They're they're good too. <laughs> Spun the block and crack his head. Now we about to go spread some bread. Huh? What? You don't know what rush hour is. Now I got a cracker in the head because now she got <laughs> Is Jackie say that he's Jackie Chan? I know who Jackie Chan is though. You know what rush hour is? Wait, are you talking about traffic? <laughs> hey yo, what the fuck? It's good. You know what rush hour is? Rush hour? Traffic. Oh, like the movies, yeah. yeah. Oh, you go. Art. Are you really good? 
Do I know what Rush Hour is? Yeah. Oh yeah, Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. We love Rush Hour. We were making campfires and watching Rush Hour and shit. 